Once Marvel's Spider-Man was announced at Sony's E3 2016 conference, the room was buzzing with excitement. Marvel IP exclusively made for the PlayStation was unheard of, and was found strange at first. What was even stranger was that Insomniac Games was making it. Known for the Ratchet & Clank series and correctly obtained but no buzz on set overdrive, this was a perfect fit for Spider-Man and PlayStation fans everywhere. With Insomniac Games taking the lead on one of the best known superheroes in the world, they had a lot riding on their shoulders. Thankfully, Insomniac flawlessly captures what it feels like to be Spider-Man, and redefines what it means to be Spider-Man for the PS4. Right when the game starts off, the player is able to swing out of Peter Parker's apartment into the streets of Manhattan. The first time swinging through the city is an exhilarating feeling that will leave the player wanting more. Thankfully, the game is around 20 to 25 hours long, which is the perfect time for the game to not overstay its welcome. The world is small in today's open world standards, but it gives back with giving the player a condensed and detailed world to explore. Side missions and activities manage to add a narrative behind them by giving a purpose to completing tasks for upgrades and new suits, thus making you care about side content where in other games is unthinkable. Spider-Man's story does what every superhero story should do, perfectly mix the personal and superhero life together. Spider-Man does this while still throwing in surprises throughout the game that makes the player wonder what's going to happen next. The story has genuine heart and knows when to have emotional moments and laugh out loud ones as well. It keeps on upping the ante when you least expect it, giving the player something new when they think they've seen it all and redefining characters in the process. Mary Jane has been completely reworked and not making her a damsel in distress, which would have been the easiest route to take. Instead, she works with Peter, giving her a true purpose to her actions and helps the story along the way. I wish I could say the same about playing as her. When the game switches over to Mary Jane, it becomes sluggish. You have to go through stealth sections as her, which is the complete opposite of what Spider-Man's supposed to be. Spider-Man is fast and fluid, so when you have to sneak around and can't run, the game slams the brakes, which breaks the immersion of what Spider-Man is trying to accomplish. Combat is what you expect from a third person action game in today's standards, but this isn't a bad thing since the formula has been redefined since the Batman Arkham games. It does though have some of its own flair and DNA mixed in the fray. Gadgets are an essential part to the game if the player wants to take out enemies fast and with style, then they're your answer. Again, these aren't mandatory in a fight, which I wish they were because they would have made the player think strategically on how they're going to defeat the enemies, but they're fun to use nonetheless. Spider-Man is also a stunning game to look at. Seeing the soaring landscapes of Manhattan is truly an eye to see. Players can tell Insomniac focus on close-up detail rather than landscape attention to detail, with some buildings either not looking rendered in or facial animations looking stiff. The cutscenes make up for it, though, by giving truly great performances and facial capture, giving the game a movie-style quality to the scenes. If you have a PS4 available, Spider-Man isn't a game to sleep on. Throughout the life cycle of the PS4, we've seen developers alike make amazing games that they're not accustomed to. Insomniac was known for making 3D action platformers. Now they made one of the best superhero games in decades. The age of the PS4 is about redefinement, redefining what studios can accomplish as well as what certain heroes can be. Insomniac managed to pull off both, giving a game that surprised fans on not just what Insomniac can do, but what the web slinger could pull off as well. Thanks for watching. Don't screw this up!